Hi everyone, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today do I have a Whopper for you. I went so over my budget, it's crazy. I didn't even have room to write it all out. But I did spend $88.48 on food and then I bought other things. Um, so we'll break it down then I'll show you what I got. At Aldi I spent $47.48. Target, I spent $32, and at the Dollar Tree, I spent $9, which made it $88.48, and then like I said, I had some other stuff too. So let's move this to the side and show you what I got. Start at Aldi, cream cheese, I'm going to do some freezer baking, so $0.79, cents. I'm going to make some keto um, pizza crust, I'll leave them in the freezer. Strawberries were on special for $1.39. Some of them don't look great, but they'll be okay. Uh, cream, $1.69. I got three dozen eggs. I got three, and they're 88 cents a dozen. My pork rinds, I always buy those. This week, I decided I'm going to pick up some country-style pork ribs. I'm going to do these in the crock pot with barbecue. But for now, they'll go in the freezer. But that'll be a meal. And that was only $5.28, and that'll be several lunches or dinners. I did grab one thing of butter that's $2.88 sour cream which I don't remember how much sour cream is 89 cents I got my stevia sweetener for $2.99 I get this pretty much every week uh, the pork sausage is $1.99 and this is very clean I did grab an ibuprofen for $1.95 I like the ibuprofen I got some asparagus I'm gonna cook this up and then have it in my fridge I like an asparagus salad it sounds weird but it's mayonnaise and parmesan cheese on top of the asparagus so I'm gonna cook this up chop it up and keep it in my fridge um, like I said I'm doing some freezer cooking today some different items just to have so I needed some parmesan and I'm making for my lunches this week chicken thighs and um, broccoli with Alfredo sauce. I needed parms. I grabbed two. These were $1.99. I got my salami, which I think will be breakfast this week with hard boiled eggs and cheese. And I got this is $4.99. And this will last me well over a week. I have this pre cut salami. And then I got my two coffees one for home and one for work. And these are $3.79. I really enjoy these coffees. And they're $3.79. Then at Target, oh, I picked up a spray bottle. This is actually glass. And what I like to do is mix up my own stain, um, like shout stain stuff, put it in a spray bottle. And then if I, you know, get grease or something on my clothing, t -t 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 -t. so I grabbed one of those. Um, the lemon sponges are out. I haven't seen these yet. So I grabbed them in lemon and some cleaning cloths and also lemon. These are not in my food budget. These are just extra things. Uh, but I did pick up unsweetened baker's chocolate. This was $2.09. And then part of what I got at Target was some more chicken. I got uh, more chicken wings. So I spent about $10 on chicken wings. They're in the freezer, except for one I'm cooking. Then I got some Bob's Organic Coconut Flour. This was $4.61. I, I was completely out of coconut flour. I'm almost out of almond flour. So this is a one pound bag and it was $9.49 uh, for the super fine almond flour. So I grabbed that. And then the other things I picked up. So this week at Target, they're doing a special on pet food. Spend 40, get 10 off, or spend 60 and get 15 off. And I was out. So I grabbed two of these simply. This is what my older boy likes to eat. Um, it keeps his stomach happy. And this is a six pound bag. Six pound bag is $18. So I grabbed two of these. And then he's so fussy. He will only eat this wet food. The Shiva Perfect Portions, and it also is good for his tummy because he throws up if I give him the wrong thing. And he has asthma, so I have to be careful with what I feed him. So these work for him, and they get, the two of them share half of one of these. So this was 15, but this will last them a long time. And oh, these are my containers for after I'm done cooking my lunch. Here's the chicken thighs I'm baking here in a minute. These were part of a sale at Target before. This package cost me 41 cents, and this package cost $2.50. Like, that's just crazy to me. So I'll cook these up. They've been in my freezer. They're thawed now. I'll cook them up, and this will be dinners and lunches this week with the broccoli. 
And then the last store I went to was a Dollar Tree, which I don't normally buy food there, but they had my pink Himalayan sea salt, fine grain, uh, one pound bags for a dollar. I bought five. And I should get more, but we'll see. I eat a lot of this. I don't eat table salt. I eat this. And I cook with it and everything. And this is, um, it is kosher, vegan, non-GMO. It's salt. But there's minerals in it and it helps when you're keto. And then they also had the Tetley Tea Iced Tea Blend. 12 of these. 12 of the big iced tea bags for one dollar so I got four of those because I love iced tea especially in the summertime so I'm starting to think ahead and then I also did a cleaning deal at Target with a bunch of cleaning product but this is my food for the week today we're going to do a little freezer cooking and baking for lunch so let's get to it whoa, whoa. here we go friends so right now I've got three things going I have a pot back here that I just have on boiling to um, cook my broccoli, and that's going to take a little bit to come up. This pan here, I'm making the Alfredo sauce for it. This recipe I'm getting is out of Keto Living Day by Day by Dr. Christy Sullivan. Um, if I remember, I will link it in the box below. It came from Amazon. She has really good, clean recipes, which is what I enjoy. Oh, I need one other thing. Oh good, my, temp my oven is up to temperature, so let's switch gears for a second. We're gonna put some of my homemade Italian seasoning. I do have a video up on that as well. These are just chicken thighs. So I'm just going to sprinkle them with the Italian seasoning maybe some salt and pepper and bake them in the oven and this is going to be part of my meals for the week definitely some lunches will come out of this okay and i like this it's zesty but it also has a little heat to it and then my pink himalayan sea salt which goes on pretty much everything there and it's not as salty, if that makes sense, as table salt. Um, so you can get away with a little more. Almost like a kosher salt. That iodine flavor is not in there. All right, salt, pepper, homemade Italian seasoning. And it's going in a 350 degree oven that I forgot to move my rack back down, guys. I was broiling something the other day. Who knows what? All right, I put the rack on the right shelf. And that'll take probably 30 to 45 minutes, I would say, easy. Some of them are pretty large. And those are the um, chicken thighs I bought at Target for like some crazy cheap amount of money. Okay, back to the Alfredo. Half a stick of butter. Now I need to weigh out some cream cheese. So I have my scale here, it's on ounces. You put your bowl on it and then you hit tear. It's called, it's spelled T-A-R-E. It brings it back to zero is what it does. And I'm gonna need two ounces of cream cheese. I know, buddy, what do you want? The cats are not happy with me today. I'm not sure why, they're fussy. Maybe because I'm busy. Who knows? I've got a couple recipes that are going to call for several ounces of cream cheese. So I'm just going to open this up and leave it out. Like you do. Should have had this prepared. The Alfredo sauce, the beauty is it comes up together so quickly that um, I can just keep it warm. Now we're going to do two ounces cream cheese so that's an ounce and a quarter and it doesn't have to be completely exact um, and I also have made recipes where you don't need cream cheese at all so just on your preference okay 
And then we're gonna let this all melt together. And again, I'm gonna keep this out because I have other recipes that are gonna use cream cheese weight, of the weight of cream cheese. And then, hi baby. I think he saw that I got the heavy cream out. We're gonna need three quarters of a cup of heavy cream after this is done melting. So I won't make you stand here and watch this melt because you know, it's butter and it's melting, but I'll get all the other ingredients together. All right, adding three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Just trying to bring all this up to temperature. And then when this melts, I have five ounces of weight by weight of grated Parmesan. I buy this at Aldi. This whole container is five ounces. I don't know that I would recommend using powdered just because. Um, I don't think it melts good. And that was a good point I wanted to make with Parmesan. I was at the Dollar Tree and I was looking. Now I get this at Aldi. The Parmesan cheese from the Dollar Tree, they add sugar and other byproducts. This is just Parmesan cheese. So you kind of want to be careful with what you buy. And then all I'm doing is going to melt this. Just make sure the cream cheese is melted. I'm going to add this cheese. I'm going to add the garlic and a little nutmeg. And that is a cheese sauce. And then when the water comes up to boil, I'll grab the frozen broccoli. Put it in there and cook it. You can use fresh. I just happen to have frozen in my freezer. There, I think we're good there. So we need a teaspoon of garlic. I use the mint already but you can certainly mince your own I just buy this actually I got this at the dollar store Dollar Tree so a teaspoon I like garlic so I'll be a little more generous with it Now everything is kind of melted. You want to let that cook down, and then I'm just going to start adding in the cheese. I don't add it all at once. I kind of add a little bit at a time and let it melt. Now this is called cheesy or creamy Alfredo. There's an Alfredo that I have made with just butter, cream, and cheese, which is certainly an option as well. Um, any Alfredo. You, I mean, if you buy the jar, just make sure the ingredients are decent. I don't particularly care for the jar. I think it has a weird aftertaste, but that's me. Um, and I just wanted some cheesy broccoli for lunch this week. I wonder how much of a good soup base this would make, like a broccoli cheese soup. Add maybe some broth to it, some bone broth or something. At this point, it's vegetarian, not vegan. All right, I'm gonna continue this along. Alrighty, it's done. It just has to all melt together. I didn't add any salt. I don't feel like it needs any extra salt. Parmesan cheese is pretty salty. I did add black pepper and I grated in a little nutmeg that I have with the microplane. Got my broccoli back here. Gonna cook it a little bit, drain it, and then add the sauce. And chicken is in the oven doing its thing. So yeah, we're moving right along. Next, I'm gonna make, um, it's called Sullivan's Keto. It's pizza dough. And I'm gonna have that for my freezer. And I'll show you how I did it. Alrighty, we got the broccoli cooked with its Alfredo sauce. So it's just kind of hanging out. I have all my ingredients here for, it's called Sullivan's Keto, K-E, D-O-U-G-H. If you Google it, you'll come up with the recipe for it. Um, it does call for whey protein isolate instead of what the fathead prep calls for, which is the um, almond flour. This doesn't have almond flour in it. And this doesn't need to be melted. This was also in my keto, what is the name of this thing book? Keto living day by day. 
So I'm just going to kind of mix this together and then I got to get an egg out. And this is going to make our dough. And we're going to smoosh it out on a pan. And it'll all melt together. I'm going to make individual pizzas um, because this is something I can come home and whip up really quickly. But I can also, um, I have some Alfredo sauce back here left over. So once that's cool and I put it in the fridge, I can have an Alfredo pizza one night, like white chicken Alfredo or something. I could totally have for dinner one night. So all I'm doing here is just mixing it together. It doesn't have to melt like the fat head. Um, it's just a different consistency, but it's still good. I like this a lot. Um, apparently, this can also be used to make like a bagel, which I do have a donut mold. I can't do it because this is the last of my whey protein. I need to order some more which I will. This is my time of the year that I try to stock up on all my stuff. So I need to order whey protein isolate and that might be it. Maybe some more Lencado sweetener. Yeah, I'll get some more Lencado. Okay, so that is all mixed up. There's seasonings in here, so it's going to taste very Italian. Pizza crusty. Now... I'm gonna scoop, so I don't know how many servings I'm gonna, I'll get out of here, but I'm gonna try to make four pizzas. So I figure I could scoop out four, mush them out. Oh, I bet I can get five out of here. And then possibly just a little extra to everybody else, okay. I love scoops because I like things even. <laughs> so I did one muffin size scoop and one cookie size scoop. And oops, I'll be one short. Oh no. Oh well. That's okay. This one will just be a tiny bit smaller. Now, what the cookbook says to do is uh, use a spatula. I just like to wet my hands. Kind of. If you wet your hands, it doesn't stick. Just don't get too too much water on here. But I have to let this sit until the oven is ready for me, so hopefully it'll absorb. I thought it was hot, but it's not. I just banged my finger. So I got a lot of questions before how do I cook my asparagus. So this is one way I cook it. I just do some salt in the water. And I just have my stir fry pan because it's got a big wide mouth. I cleaned off all my asparagus and I drop it in. I'll bring you back when I'm all finished and show you what I've made. We are done. And this is my prep for the week, uh, plus some Alfredo sauce in the fridge. I made uh, these pizza crusts. They're going to go in the freezer. So I'll have those whenever I want. Breakfast is two hard boiled eggs, some meat and cheese. Here's my lunch, two chicken thighs and some uh, broccoli Alfredo. For dinner, I made up some chicken wings. This will be like two to three meals for me with some asparagus. And then these are my lunches back here. So there is my weekly meal prep to get me through on my keto diet. Well, I guess keto way of eating. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.